Taylor Swift is an award-winning singer-songwriter who started her career at the age of 16 as a country artist. Her expressive lyrics touch the soul of youth around the world, fusing pop and country and ushering in a new generation of music. But where did Taylor get her musical talent? A closer look into her family tree reveals some amazing connections. Taylor Allison Swift was born December 13, 1989 to Scott Kingsley Swift and Andrea Finley. Her parents have always been devoted to Taylor's musical career, including owning a stake in her first record label. Scott and Andrea were married on February 20, 1988 in Texas, where Andrea was raised. They relocated to Pennsylvania where Scott grew up and raised their two children, Taylor and Austin. Scott is the son of Archie Dean Swift and Rose Baldy Douglas. After divorcing his first wife, Archie married Rose on March 21, 1942 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Archie attended Princeton University but dropped out his junior year to pursue a career in banking. Rose's mother, Louisa Baldy, had musical talent as she performed a concert with opera singer Alfonso Rosa in 1910. Louisa's father, Charles Carmine Baldy, was born in Castelnuovo, Italy on December 2, 1862. He emigrated to the U.S. in 1876 at the age of 14. Many of these early Italian immigrants had endured extreme poverty during the numerous civil wars leading up to the unification of the Italian state in 1871. In the 1880 U.S. Census, 17-year-old Charles was working as a fruit vendor in Philadelphia along with his two younger brothers. It was likely a desperate situation that led Father Vito Baldi to send his three young sons to America. But Charles persevered and built an impressive professional portfolio. In addition to his numerous insurance and real estate holdings, Charles was the president of the first Italian exchange bank in Philadelphia, which he established. He was the publisher of an Italian newspaper, L'Opinione, for which he was recognized by the King of Italy for helping Italian immigrants in America. Charles passed away in 1930 after suffering a stroke at the age of 68. Archie was the son of Archie Dean Swift Sr., who was born August 15, 1877. He married his first wife, Maud, in 1901, but a few years later she passed away at the age of 43 from typhoid fever. Typhoid is a bacterial infection that can be caused by contaminated water that leads to intestinal upset and possibly death. Today, the disease is treatable with antibiotics. Archie then married Bernice Thompson on August 31, 1909. They had five children. Like his son, Archie built a prosperous career in banking. Archie was the son of Charles Julius Fox Swift, who was born March 10, 1845. He married Josephine Renault in 1869, and they had 12 children. Here we see their six youngest children around 1896, with Archie seen here. According to the 1880 census, Charles was a photographer. Later, he was said to have been a professor. Josephine passed away from bowel cancer in 1920 at the age of 72. Interestingly, Taylor Swift's father, Scott, is said to also have suffered from an undisclosed form of cancer. Charles was one of 22 children born to his father, Julius Ceylon Swift, who had three different wives. Charles' grandfather, Nathaniel Swift, was a lieutenant during the Revolutionary War, much like his grandson Archie, who became a lieutenant colonel in the Marines. During the Revolutionary War, Nathaniel's regiment reinforced troops around Quebec and were later stationed outside of Ticonderoga, New York, where they suffered from a serious smallpox outbreak. Smallpox is an airborne virus that covers the body in thick fluid-filled blisters. Many of these soldiers were likely disfigured if they did not succumb to the virus itself. Taylor Swift's surname can ultimately be traced back to some of the earliest American colonists. William Swift arrived in New England in 1634. He was born in Bocking, England in 1589 and died in Sandwich, Massachusetts in 1644. On her maternal side, Taylor Swift's mother, Andrea Finley, is the daughter of Robert Bruce Finley and Marjorie Mullenkamp. Robert and Marjorie married on March 22, 1952 in Palm Beach, Florida. The family stayed here at Casa Rosada in the days leading up to the wedding, a resort-style community where Robert's parents lived. 
Robert graduated from the University of Virginia and was working in St. Louis, Missouri. Marjorie grew up in St. Charles, a suburb of St. Louis. Shortly before they married in 1950, at the age of 22, Marjorie won ABC's Music with the Girls talent contest for her singing. This launched her career as an opera singer and television personality. After marrying Robert, they relocated to Havana, Cuba, where his corporate office was located, and then to Puerto Rico, where Marjorie had her own television show where she performed concerts. Later, they moved to Caracas, Venezuela, before returning to the U.S. In 2020, Taylor Swift released a song titled Marjorie, which is a tribute to her beloved late grandmother, who passed away in 2003. The lyrics are striking. Marjorie's musical talents did not die with her, but are alive in Taylor, and the song includes background vocals from Marjorie. I will provide a link to the lyric video in the description, which features home movies of Marjorie in the 1950s and 60s, and later with Taylor. The Mullen Camp family lived in St. Charles, Missouri for over 100 years. Taylor's great-great-grandfather, Henry Mullen Camp, married Emma Bruns around 1883. He was a farmer and together they raised three sons. Emma's parents were Johann Dietrich Bruns, born in Germany in 1833, and Julia Sandfort, born in St. Charles in 1838. Johann and Julia were married November 13, 1856 in St. Charles, and they had eight children. This is a photo of Emma standing in front of the Sandfort family's farm in St. Charles in 1896. The Mullenkamp, Bruns, and Sandfort families can all be traced back to the Menslage region of northeastern Germany. Large numbers of German immigrants arrived in Missouri beginning in the 1850s. Gottfried Duden, who moved from Germany to Missouri in the 1820s, wrote and self-published a book which beautifully described the Missouri River Valley, likening it to the Rhine River Valley, which enticed many Germans to seek cheap land in the area following the failed German Revolution in 1848. This forever changed the demographics of the Midwest and Taylor Swift's family history. Taylor Swift's family tree weaves its way through American time and place, beginning with the earliest settlers of Massachusetts and then to the German settlements in the Midwest, and back to Philadelphia where a young Italian boy sells fruit on the same streets where the country's moral compass took shape. In studying family trees, I always find it fascinating when the direction a person's life takes, which is seemingly based on present-day decisions and circumstances, is very clearly a continuance of a story that began many years ago. Such is the case for Taylor Swift's journey, which even she has noted began with her maternal grandmother, Marjorie Mullenkamp, the Midwestern girl with German roots who went on to have her own television show and also perhaps her paternal great-grandmother, Louisa Baldi, the daughter of an Italian immigrant who performed with opera singers 100 years ago, which led Taylor to be the incredible talent that she is today.